tonight's going to be a little bit different. We have a guest player joining us. It's been a long time coming. We've been talking about it quite a bit, kind of leading up to this. Um, he's a longtime friend. I don't know. We've been friends for like eight, ten years, maybe. Um, the fellow DM, I've bounced a ton of ideas for this campaign off of him. Um, super excited to have him uh, come in and join us for this this uh, this arc. Um, <clears throat> should be a good time. Excited to uh, see his character. He's gonna be playing an ill rigger, which is sort of a new, um, uh, like third party developed class, but it seemed really balanced and seemed like a lot of fun. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring it in, give it a shot. All right. So last time on uh, Dungeons of Dragons, uh, you guys had sort of escaped a crazed. Uh, um sort of priest priestess uh <clears throat> she was really upset at you guys for uh having the blessings of the gods uh she killed nihilus familiar uh in her in her fit of rage and then got knocked out uh, and you guys with the help of another priest who was sort of on your side uh kind of took you down to this uh sort of like a uh, little little uh, mini dungeon trial kind of thing um, you guys used your blessings to get into. Uh, you guys made your way through all of the trials or puzzles and uh, some combat. Uh, and after completing it all, you found a portal. You guys all stepped through. Um, <clears throat> the portal took you down to the underworld. Uh, and where you guys found yourself, uh, you guys are uh, what appears to be some sort of cell. Uh, you are all there. You guys have lost the um, sort of whatever special powers you guys had gotten from drinking the cups at the beginning of the dungeon. Um, and you'll notice there's an extra person standing in here that didn't wasn't with you uh, before, uh, and now they are here. And I'll have Flugel uh, introduce their character as they are standing before you. To get a read of the room real quick, like I'm gonna assume the four of you are standing close together and I'm standing in a corner somewhere. Uh, as you all teleport into this room, you see before you a figure clad in a shiny silver and gold metallic armor, eyes glimmering of the same radiance, while off of them flow cloaks that look of like heralded like gold and red, but as they taper off, turn into a celestial uh like night sky uh that seems to just kind of disappear into nothingness and this includes going all the way down past their legs where it seems like their legs just kind of disappear uh a glimmering of the slash of a celestial stands before you as they speak you hear the voice of not one but many masculine feminine old young uh, and so help me with your theater of the mind by pretending that as i speak there are many voices with me. Hello, adventurers. I am Otterte of the Prexidic, and I am in desperate need of your help. Wow. Excited. Excuse me, who? see that? What do we do? I uh have become and begun to know you all through visions of my lord, my lord Hades. I serve Hades below here as Arate, virtue itself, and judgment of Hades. I act as one with that god. They have deemed it important that you help us regain this land in our control. Will you aid our efforts? Uh, I kind of like look around at the others, and I'm like, well... I can sense your hesitancy. Well, I mean, that's why that's why we're here. <laughs> you know, we did... That's, that is... That's why we're here, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why we're here. We're, we're, we're here to help. Like, we kind of figured you... Someone, there might be some help. Some, some issues needed. going on? Yeah. Um, could I, um, We're here to help. welcome to comic, how are you doing? Uh, DM, can I make an insight roll on all of them real quick? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'd like to make an insight to just make sure that they're, like, really committed to doing this. Um, and I want to just kind of glean some insight on them. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot. Wait, did we roll online? I was like reaching for a d20. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll on, <laughs> roll on. <laughs> Absolute mood. Absolute mood. <laughs> Rat. Oh. Um. You can't really get a read on him. You're not. You're not. You're not sure. Um, okay, I uh, address the group again, and I say, forgive my own hesitancy, as I need to be fully sure you are committed to this. This is a matter of death itself, and if we fail, we will join it. And I need to be sure that any mortal who comes through these gates are willing to die for the cause. Uh, well, I mean, I feel like we're pretty committed. We could go through a lot of <laughs> stuff to get here. So, plus, I don't know if we can actually leave. So, don't worry, we'll take care of that. And I take um my uh, sword off the sheath of my back, and I turn it upside down, and I smack it into the ground, and the gates of the prison cell open. I needed to be sure that you were the ones that I saw visions of. You see, Hades is far weaker than anybody really understands and knows of in the material plane. And any word I get from hey, the material so plane itself sub, is Santa. static and weird, ethereal questions in my head. I apologize for the doubt, but I needed to be sure that I knew who I was talking to. I appreciate that very much. Yeah. Um, to be completely honest, and, that's um, great. Yeah, well, and we, we have the rocks. You want to see the rocks? Wait. I've seen the rocks. Don't worry. Yeah, I, don't, I think the door I think the door took the rocks. Soon. Well, we opened the door. You we got the rocks. have the rocks. We can show you if you don't believe us. I trust you completely. Let's go. And I uh, push outward towards the door. I, oh, okay. Um, and as I'm leading us, uh, where are we going? Yeah, what kind of, so what kind of place is this, you guys? What kind of place is this, you guys? Oh, guys, this place is rad. You're gonna love it. No, that's not what they say. Um... <laughs> uh, so as you mean, it, it, it could be, actually, what they say, and that would fit very well. Look, whatever, whatever Flugel says is, is just immediately canon. I'm letting him run wild here. <laughs> He's, I gave him some information, and it's, it's up to you guys. <laughs> Of this character just becoming like a dude bro be like yo guys this place is lit man we're gonna there's like a fucking oh it. it's it's brad <laughs> oh. It's brad, oh, brad. no it's brad uh it so as you brad. guys <laughs> kind of file out of this jail cell um you're, you're right. in sort of a small building are you, i'm not sure how far you guys are going um i think i'm gonna lead uh this is like a small little secluded area if i remember right and i kind of lead them to the entrance of this cave, like this hidden way outpost is that right yeah so essentially like you're in like a small building but you like right. normal passerbyers wouldn't see it. It, it like you have to you, you kind of have to really look for it it's sort of like hidden against like the uh the landscape sort of sort of camouflaged cool. in um, so i just kind of like lead them out or at least like walk out and expect them to follow and i just head towards the entrance and as we approach and everyone's eyes kind of adjust i just take hold elysium Oh, uh, how dim is it? Or bright is it? Uh, you are able to see, but it, it, like as far as for your eyesight stuff goes, you you would not have disadvantage. I would what? You, Sorry. You, it's it's like it's not so dark that you can't see, but it's also not bright. There's no sunlight. Oh, okay, it's just cool. sort of like this ethereal light. Okay, okay. Cool. I can see. Uh, do any of you have any questions or anything before we start uh, heading to gather ourselves and gather our forces? Is there anything you'd all like to know? Uh, so, are we underground? Uh, <clears throat> not entirely. And I think we both, we all kind of like look up and see all of the stalactites above us, right? Yeah, so it looks like you go, like above you looks like a cave ceiling. It's like super high up though uh like like instead of sky and clouds it's just 
cavern ceiling and uh like uh you can see there's like gemstones kind of glaring up in the top as well um shiny uh but yeah quite um we're not necessarily underground or well, this place is seems as if it's a cavern it is almost the world within itself the river sticks and Charon being the only way to get between the material plane and here. At least that's what used to be. What used not to be? like that anymore. Well, I'm not entirely sure. You see, when everything happened, myself and my siblings who represent the Prixitakai, took upon relief efforts in each sum. I stayed with Elysium and gathered what effort I could with the noble heroes to protect our region. He My other two be. went to the murky Asphodel and the gates, Aaron. I haven't heard from either of them, but word I hear is that the dead are swamping out through the gates of hell itself. At they... their own night. Hmm. They are. Oh, they are doing that? that is unusual. <laughs> well, I mean... Kind of? We saw uh, something to the... Well... They um, have... We saw you guys, something uh, to that effect. You all notice that Arate, like, actually looks genuinely worried for a second, and then, uh... uh stiffens themselves and um continues on well then we must make all the more haste to set our goal in motion right yes we need to stop this um right. and they probably gesture ahead and uh i think there's a camp that probably everyone sees right Yes, so there is a walled city off in the distance, uh, but also more towards like uh, like the northern part of the sort of river of sticks. I'm gonna just drop you guys the map, um, just to kind of make this easier to explain. I think. Ooh. So you guys are on the south, uh, the very south of, the, of Elysium. Um, <clears throat> all of the blue sort of surrounding the landmass is the river sticks, um, but we're gonna focus down here on the, on the south end. Uh, kind of like around here, um, you see sort of this like, not like totally huge, but but a, a sizable encampment of uh, tents, uh, all flying flags with uh, uh, the gilded eye that you guys have become so familiar with. Mm. And kind of working among the tents, you see sort of these devilish looking creatures working next to these purple robe figures. Um, the rest of Elysian though, uh, is absolutely beautiful. It's rolling green fields, flowers, beautiful trees, um, <clears throat> and, and then the walled city, oh. the, the city of heroes. Yes, our garden is mm. doing better work here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we have a uh, great... Uh, Steve, just for my notes, mm -hmm. looking at the map, which part of hell would you consider the sexy part of hell? The Sorry? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh that God. depends on what you find sexy, Bear. Abram, did you mean to uh, say fine. it out loud? Or was we'll that... figure it out later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll discover it for ourselves. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Or like we're later on in the adventure we're walking through like aisles of and mounds of flesh and carnage and chaos and and he's gonna be like this is the sexy part of that. This is <laughs> No. <laughs> Bro, it's where all the doms are. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> oh no. Um well, cool. so does it look like the uh, camp is between us and this city that I'm trying to get us to? Is that the... Is that what's going on here? <coughs> uh, you guys are kind of off to the uh, west, so if you guys head, like, south east, cool. you'd yeah. be fine. I would um, gesture to the group, and I would say, I personally 
think it's wise to uh, to consider subterfuge as our solution to this until we have a better understanding of their numbers here. I have been waiting for you here for a while, um, so I'm not really sure what kind of forces they have outside. Wait, so the city I of Heroes has been o overrun? No, 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 just in this encampment and, and how the, the city of Heroes is fortified, but I don't know what the numbers are currently. Um, and I haven't been in touch with my soldiers since I've been waiting for you for to arrive. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry. S subterfuge is... <laughs> right. Oh, so no. We should our sneak area of, it's our area of expertise. Oh, that's good. Good. No. I'm glad you... At least it's mine. Is that dark -headed? No, no. We have a, we have a, a this, the smaller, we have, we have a designated small person to handle these kind of things. <laughs> Great. Oh, Not the designated just small like, person. I'll, 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 I'll give, I'll give Alloran a little, like, nudge forward to the front of the group. <clears throat> I'll get him. You got this. Whoever just shoved forward to the front of the group as the other three, like, distance themselves, um... Is it Alaren that gets shoved to the front? Yeah, the little two foot four kobold, I, yes. I uh, kneel down to you. This, by the way, oh. how, hold on, how tall is Ebrin? I am seven and a half. Seven and five? Tall. Seven six? Seven, seven foot six. Um, Arate is seven foot seven and kneels down <laughs> to oh, no. um, The size of your shin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, presents uh, their right hand kind of in front of your face and on their right hand is this crazy looking ring with not a gemstone in it but this like vortex that almost looks like a galaxy of itself of, of moving around consistently within it and it begins to shine oh and you kind of like feel this like really like kind of I don't know like a big upper feeling you start to feel very brave and valorous and I just say, just know that should you ever be in doubt or in trouble, my magic will be on your side. Uh, th 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 thank you? Uh, All right. Let's go she, kill some she, demons. She, she, <laughs> yeah, she's really good at what she does. She just needs a little encouragement sometimes. So you're doing good. You're doing great, Alarin. You got this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It'll be great. Yeah. Nobody know. Nobody here knows what a cobalt is. They'll freak out. <laughs> okay. A cobalt well. never died. It's crazy. <laughs> no one here knows what they mean. Uh, that that's a false statement. <laughs> well, they've never made it into Elysium. Oh, I mean that's fair. That's fair. Right behind, Alan, right behind you. Also, when you say subterfuge, what exactly do we are, are we doing? Are we trying well, to I mean, assess, are we trying avoid. to the okay? Recon, yeah, recon, 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 recon. yeah, we could send Alaran in if that's what you guys think is good. Uh, Alaran, just, just go little, take a little, go take a little peek. I'll be right behind you. Wait, where are you guys going? <laughs> I'm just we're gonna, gonna look go, over at our stay and be like, gonna go, uh, "We're gonna." I don't know that this is smart. So the, we just so the camp is here. between the camp is between us and the city. We hold on. You guys are kind of like between those. You're like between it, but off to the left. We could, we could go around. around. How's it going, Miku? What would I, what would be the Halloween? Like, what do we what do we so look at? Numbers about numbers. You said subterfuge. I thought you meant we need to like sneak in. We can go I mean, that could be kind of fun. It was just floating the idea. I, I mean, if anything, we send an hour in for like, you know, maybe patrol routes and things like that. Um, but that would be the only thing I can think of. And shinies. I'm doing good. Can't mm -hmm. complain. Get to play some D&D &D with friends. What do y'all think? Always a good time. Alan, just go take a little peek. Go take a little peek. See and the information. Alan, see just what we're dealing with here. Al Alarin, do you really want to do this? Uh, uh, alone? Well, you're, that seems to be what your comrades are signing you up for. Uh, behind you, 
down and fine. She's fine. Don't worry about her. I, 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 uh, I get, I guess so. Uh, just stay, stay to safe distance, Alrin, and give us an idea of exactly what we're up against in terms of numbers yeah, um, and what are you going in there how organized they seem uh, wait <laughs> we need you to say it i didn't know they were going here <laughs> i'm sorry you guys <laughs> talked at the same time I gotta before i got finish slapping together a map <laughs> what did you say flugel fine, sorry fine, fine, fine. which uh we we need you to say what you're doing what are you what are you going in there to find out uh, I guess kind of get an idea of more of an idea of like numbers and such for for them. You feel good um, about that? You feel good about doing that? As long as I stay if stay fish distance or attempt to, uh, I can. I, um, I'm gonna I don't hold, know the land very well. I'm gonna hold my hand back up uh, in front of them uh, and uh, just kind of. Uh, ethereal magic spits out. It's like a. It looks like the same kind of celestial cloak that tapers off uh, from me, and it's like this blanket of a starry sky. It's like nighttime, and it begins to envelop. And I cast invisibility on you. Oh. <laughs> can um, I tell? Uh, yes, you can tell. Um, anything you're wearing or carrying is invisible. Um, the spell ends when you attack or cast your own spell. Um, and it lasts an hour. It lasts how long? One hour. Cool. Cool, alright. Um, and then I, uh, try to guess where your shoulder is to pat you on it, and I say, good luck in there. <laughs> okay. I'll go. Take a look. Alright, uh, I, uh, the rest of us, I suggest we find someone safe to... Uh, hang out. Um, Alarin, maybe if we don't see you within an hour, um, we'll, I don't know, is there some way you guys can communicate? Do you have sending stones or anything? Rocky talkies? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't. No. Is that like a, that. is that like a Hades thing? No, we don't have that. Do they exist in this world? Steve? Do what? Sorry, I, I was reading the, uh, invisible conditions. Rocky talkies. In uh, this world? no. Not okay. that not, right. not, not, not that have been found. Sorry. Sorry, I misspoke of ancient magic. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. It was out of time. Um, okay, well, um... If we don't see you in an hour, we'll assume you were dead. Good luck. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's usually what we assume. Whenever we send her out, well, last time we sent her out, it was at the church, and we ended up at a bar for a few hours while we waited, and it was pretty, pretty pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, you sent somebody in on this crazy ass mission in a church, and you guys just drank at the bar the whole time. Well, it yes. wasn't really a they mission. Sent me alone. It was more of uh, gathering information. There are more. It was more like a. It was more like a organized tour. tour. Yes. I got <laughs> okay. I got <laughs> yeah, I got taken out. Anyway, I'll be back. Alright. Uh alright, so you're going to the like encampment of the I, I guess I'm still gonna try to keep my distance sort of. Just in case they can kind of tell. Mm -hmm. so, so if we just if we wanted to like follow behind her <laughs> mm -hmm. at, at like a safe distance uh like how far uh, well i guess it, how close is alarin getting and how close are you guys to alarin i think alarin doesn't even need to be that close we just wanted her to see if she could get to a point where she could like get a kind general of sense out. of like their numbers and see yeah. general information like how organized they seemed if there was like an obvious like leader who was giving orders i need my book hang on my book that i haven't used so basically like i don't know where this camp lies like geography in the geography but if there was like a hill that provided like some 
sort of vantage without getting too close? <clears throat> or... Um, it's all pretty flat. Okay. So you tell me how close, Alarin, you want to get. How many feet? Uh... I don't know. Um... Uh... So what kind of a ter terrain is it? Is it all just like grassy fields? Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, where, where you guys are, it's all grassy fields. It's very nice. It would probably be hard We're to get gonna close. Go... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Just give me a number. I don't know. I... Like, how close can you reasonably get to, like, get away of the land, right? I think that's ultimately the question. It's like, yeah. Like, how close is your vision radius? Like, how I... close do you need to be to see what's going on? Uh... Um. To get a general idea? Yeah, like, not just, like, see the land, but to see individual, like, you know, numbers and stuff. Like, I mean, you don't need to get closer than Dude, 100. I don't need to get... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't feel like I need to get closer than 100 feet. Okay. All yeah. Right. All right. <clears throat> so, from 100 feet, uh, you, you see uh, several tents, uh, seven in total. Uh, there's four small ones, and then one large one kind of off to the side, as, as well as, like, two sort of more forward ones it would be sort of closer to the city um you see quite a few people kind of going uh about there are humans uh as well as sort of like uh this like these devilish looking creatures kind of working among oh them as God. well um <clears throat> if you're trying to like pinpoint somebody that's in charge you'll have to make a perception check hang on uh okay. i'm trying to write while you're saying stuff so <laughs> I'm actually taking notes for once. Um, I'll make I'll, I'll I'll try a perception check. Why not? Right? What could go wrong? Where's the button? An eight. I see nothing. Yeah, you're not you're not really <laughs> sure. Just all it just kind of looks just just tons of people kind of going about their business, kind of moving around. Talking, uh, chatting. humans and like devilish creature. Can I kind of like see at all what the the creatures kind of look like at all? Like ish, ish. Uh, yeah. One second. Let me get like a good picture for myself here. They sort of just look uh, like humanoid, but they sort of just have like um, like purplish red skin, uh, tails, claws, uh, and they have these sort of like very long, almost tentacle-like beards. And then you said before, uh, and then the robes that they were wearing those were the you, you had mentioned they were the purple ropes oh right? yeah yep and there's all, all over the place yeah there's banners yep. flying as well with the uh gilded eye symbol as well oh, these guys really wear it on their sleeve oh, oh they really do yeah unfortunately there wasn't a, a purple tents in my assets for the map so you get red but they're purple just picture 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 purple in your mind's eye okay they're purple Okay. <laughs> and I just, I can kind of just, like, tell that there's quite a few. Yeah. But not, like, an approximate. I'm assuming they're all moving yeah, around. Yeah, there's there's people moving yeah, around. There's people tough. going in and out of tents. Okay. It's busy. Uh, uh, what are they busy doing? Uh, it, you, that's a good question. Are they just kind of like going about their business? It looks like Is there they anything fancy going on? Are getting their armor uh like polished up and you see some of them sharpening their swords. Kind of almost looks like they're getting ready. 
or something. Mm -hmm. Something's a mess. Could not see. Oh no. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, can I tell if it's like. I probably wouldn't be able to tell. Intense. Oh my comic. Get out of town. Get out of town. Uh, hmm. These fools have not had a long we, rest. We cut back <laughs> to the other four of us hanging out. Around. Yeah, what, yeah, what are you guys yeah. up to? Cut uh, back to them while I'm thinking. And I'm just like, so do you all have any hobbies? <laughs> hobbies? Do anything for fun? Uh, <laughs> we like to build sandcastles when the opportunity comes oh, up. We are, after all, sandcastle queen and queen. Sorry? Now what? <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, do you think... She's okay. Should we like? I think she's she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. <clears throat> we would have seen something. We're not that far away. I think we would, we would know. I would say we're probably like two hundred feet away for or so. Like we're not. We're like camping out somewhere. We're laying low. Yeah. I think we're just. Yeah, you guys can see okay. movement, we... but like it, no, it doesn't look like oh, okay. like okay. there's any hmm. sort of any crazy nonsense okay, going on. That's... I didn't yeah. know we were that. Yeah. I didn't know we were that close. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think she's fine. Maybe she's reading one of the diaries. <clears throat> so what exactly? So what exactly is is? Hmm? What exactly has been happening here? Who are these people? They're not. Oh man. Are they? Are, are they themselves undead? Are they invaders? They're not undead. In a way, and they're not invaders. In a way, they're. Uh, do you know what the eye symbol represents? Yes, we do. Do you? Do they? And, and we we do know. Are they are they are they followers of the Titans? They're followers of a Titan. Well, how did they arrive here themselves, if it's so difficult to get down here? Well... The Titan is who came through. They tore Hades asunder to challenge the gods themselves. And... Zeros arose victorious. Yeah. And since then... It's been, no pun intended, hell. It's been <laughs> hell down here. Well, if, if Hades has already been defeated, why why does he linger here instead of moving on the other gods? Or, or why, has, why has he not attacked the material plane? I don't know. Hades is but one Olympian. There are many more currently protecting Hades as we speak while they regain their power. I don't know the language of the gods. I am a daughter and son of Nyx. My essence does not meddle with the affairs of jealousy and betrayal. I do not understand their motives. All I know is that Zeros came through and challenged Hades and won. And since then, their representatives have been running around, letting all hell break loose. I promise I didn't rehearse these. It's just kind <laughs> of coming naturally. I, there's no better explanation. And and uh, the dead have been leaving. And the world is ending. If the dead leave here, then the people will no longer have faith in the system and in Hades. And without faith in Hades, Hades doesn't have any power. Well... 
if he if it was beyond Hades to defeat a Titan, then what is our what is our plan? There are many gods. And the gods have defeated them before, but we are not facing a Titan. We are facing what the Titan left behind. And I gather that He's good. my sisters and brothers and I splitting up may have taken on more than we can bear, especially without the help of the other Justicars and Furies, wherever they may be. Whoever, however the Titan has done it, they have influenced a lot of people, as we see before us in this camp ahead. And their numbers are simply larger than ours in sections. But if we travel through Hades, collect the help of my siblings, we could challenge whatever has taken the throne. And I have seen not much of your group's work, but I have seen visions of what you've accomplished. And I've seen the stones. And if those three believe in you, then I have no reason to die. Kind of like if... Uh... Nyla, like the side eye. <laughs> like, I think they believe in me. <laughs> I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> You've collected their insignias, have you not? Dead. We have three of them. The three leaders of Olympus have deemed you worthy. Is that not something to be proud of and where? Well, you have decided to be champion. Well, they, they, they have, they, they have the stones. I'm kind of just helping. <laughs> unless you know a fourth, unless you know a fifth, fifth god, maybe. You can have extra my stone one? if you like. No, that's okay. No, no. that's fine. That's all right. I think you are trying to run from the Morii, and no one can. They spin their threads and have decided you to be a champion. And sooner or later, you're going to have to come to terms with that. Let's see about that. <laughs> yeah, we will. So uh, this one here is a little bit more uh, begrudging. Yes, so I'm sure she'll come around. Maybe if you of the gods or some sort of like, you know, horrifying power or something, she'll come around. But... <laughs> what? No, I have I have no grudge against the gods whatsoever. No, no. I don't I just, blame you. They suck. I just never ask for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just never ask for any of this whatsoever. Well, yeah, yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Well, now maybe when this is over, you can just give it back, and we can be rid of all this. Wait, give what back? Your fate? No, the rock. <laughs> the rock what is rock? The, the rock. The rock is. Oh, the rocks that we're juggling with right now. These? Mm. <laughs> stuck. Look, we already tried to throw it. It came back. I'm juggling them. Can I roll jug? Juggle. <laughs> roll juggle. that sleight of hand? Wait, but I Possibly. have one. Dexterity. How did you get that? Are you just juggling, like, random rocks off the ground? Yeah, fine. I'm not juggling. <laughs> Open them. <laughs> mine's tied to my necklace. Like, oh, you mean these stones. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow see you Dude, if, oh god if only alaren was there which i could be technically i could just show up yeah what is alaren up to right yeah now? what are you guys doing what are you doing over there uh <laughs> roll for jug uh yeah, I wish I could play the Do jug. I see anything it seems shiny? like such a great instrument i mean yes i see shiny things like you know swords and such but yeah, I mean, that's it. You, you see shiny armor, shiny weapons, shields. Shiny oh. pieces of paper, maybe? And hey. shiny snacks? Hmm. I don't know. I, uh, you know closer what? Closer than 100 feet. To, to... Uh, yeah. Fine. Fine. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get it a little, a little bit closer than that. How long has it been, technically? I don't know, not probably not super long. Who's okay? Oh, I see. What? Nothing. I'm oh, miles okay. away. You are. Have you guys 
Is it of hopscotch? <laughs> um, I'll, 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 I'll go, I'll go. All right, how close? Here, I'll go close. Uh, uh, uh. Invisible. You're um, you're stealthing. You're I, invisible. I can, I can stealth. I am invisible. Uh, I can do rogue things. Clarence, like, super quietly muttering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's like crawling through the grass, invisible. <laughs> she's like flat on her belly, just wriggling. Just yeah. army crawling. <laughs> I can do all this. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll, like, I'll go, like, 50 feet away and see, you know, who's going and where and if any of the buildings are less occupied. Uh, how tall, how tall is the thing. grass, Steve? How tall is the grass? Yeah, how tall is the grass, Steve? Come on. I was wondering that earlier, and then I just didn't ask. Can you describe the grass more, please, Steve? It's important. I can't believe Is you have a green grass. <laughs> what colors of grass? <laughs> <laughs> it's green. I made these maps, and I was like, "Yeah, this is like the perfect underworld material for getting to where you guys are right now." It's green. It's it's cool. it's yeah. Uh, you use, you use your mind's eye Ooh. here. Green I grass. Also green. Except I'm also invisible. <laughs> um, it's like I don't know, like it, it, it you know, uh, uh, like two inches. No, most grass. Lovely. Yeah, this is some some <laughs> poor some poor <laughs> damn soul is in charge of mowing this entire place. Uh, next no, their, their eternal punishment. <laughs> That's actually how they got into Elysium. They were such good gardeners that they were granted this beautiful fertile land to keep over. Eternal lives. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go. I'll go. All beers they drive. They're incredible machines. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of deer? A John Deere. A John Deere. It's a. It's a type of vehicle. It's J O U N D E R E. It's a. You know. It's from Philadelphia. Who named? The... <laughs> Fuck is Philadelphia? <laughs> <laughs> what strange <laughs> land is it? We have. We have a rap from a strange land, but really, none of us have ever heard of this, this strange place. <laughs> to be honest, it sounds quite terrible. Just by the name alone, it sends, makes my stomach queasy and sends shivers down my spine, makes my hair stand up on my arms. Where are you from? New York? <laughs> oh, <are> you from? <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, I'll, I'll go a little bit closer, see what I can see. What What is a little bit closer? Uh, I'll, I'll go, you know what, I'll go, I'll go. Uh... Come on, I, I have, have no idea out. the difference between any type of stress. The entire okay. hour of invisibility is a Laren just laying there. You know what? <laughs> you know what, the lizard has anxiety. Right. The lizard? With a... Anxiety check? Anxiety check. Rolls a nat remember 20. Remember <laughs> Alarin, just remember, Hannah, that you were infused with holy confidence. I was. You know what? That's actually a good point. I was. I forgot about that. Well, it's okay, definitely not the extra prickly kind. I mean, not like su suicidal confidence, like yeah, I like know. Like sprint straight in, like <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, but like skirt around like the edge of one of the tents that looks less. Are you, you're like, like it you're coming like, from like this angle or something? Like, are you close enough to touch a tent? Ah, uh, no. Okay, well, <laughs> I, I need how many feet like, away uh, you are. Twenty. Twenty. We'll go twenty. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean you, you see people just kind of going like, going about. Uh, it looks like they're strapping on armor, getting their, their swords sharpened. Um, is there, like, one entrance? I'm assuming there's, like, one entrance to these circular tents. Yeah, it's just the, it's, like, the back. The back being uh, over here? Yes. 
like the northern okay. part of it. Um, is there any way to see inside from like over here? I, I don't know. Some they're tent they're pretty here. they're pretty like thick. You're not able to really discern what's inside. Donning okay. armor takes forever. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it, it seems like it would for sure. I'll be right back. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> As I get any closer, can I see like more of uh, an idea of who a possible leader might be? Any uh, different kinds of you would look like the there's a there's a man in like a little bit of like nicer armor right here, okay. and he seems to be kind of issuing directions, and he's flanked by uh, two uh, robed figures here. Uh, these guys are all kind of chatting as they're they're lacing up their armor. There's a kind of a weird devilish creature here, one over here. Can I? Um. Uh... Hmm. Can I get the uh... I'll try to skirt uh fuck. Um sorry, language. Um Can I try to get a little bit closer to this tent here? Yeah, how close? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, of course, I'm gonna. I gotta. I have to ask. <laughs> like, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, no, I know you do. Um, like on the map that we're looking at on the screen right now not quite they're still a little bit outside of it like they they're still 20 feet out so four squares four is there squares. like like Alain, is there anyone around like close to you that could at any point see you not any like scan your peripheries is there anyone around you you're in threat of alerting the stress wow. They also all got a warning that, that we're like headed into big boy territory. Uh, like they're level six. I was like, we're this is also this is not a character. I've got your little holy confidence of like a little golden version of me sitting on your shoulder. Like, hey, bud, how are oh, you? Oh, oh, is it okay? <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Oh, oh okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. not sure how close I can get. They're kind of all over the camp. Um, yeah, this is true. So yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, you're invisible, right? I can't see you. Can you see me? Uh, uh, I cannot see now. Unless I see, back. but you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. Wait, can <clears throat> you see me? I, I don't know. Can I see you? I look down. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I think we're gonna be fine, bud. Let's just sneak on in there. You know what I mean? Oh, 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 okay. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll get you ice cream afterwards. Does that sound good? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I, sure. uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, We'll go, we'll go, we'll go here. Okay, so you're, you're now on the map. I am now on the map. If I could add myself to the map that I, if I 
to figure it out again. Hey, bud, sorry, you're doing, I just wanted to let you know two things. One, you're doing great. This is going so well. You got in there. Two, maybe stop singing the Mission Impossible song as you come up here. Like, you're invisible, but they must still hear you, you know what I mean? Okay. Picture, like, Kronk from Emperor's New Groove, where he's singing and he <laughs> pushes himself against the wall and he's still singing while the people walk by. Don't, also, don't sing it. Also, third point, don't sing it because we might get a copyright strike and we don't want that. On the stream. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But no, you're doing great otherwise. This is going to work. I'm going to, like, do my best to, like, skirt around towards the entrance here. Slowly. Try to avoid hitting, you know, the ropes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check with advantage. Even though you're invisible, they are still able to hear you. Okay. With advantage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, character sheet. Advantage. Stealth. Swap. 21. All right. Let's see you're <laughs> making your way around. Okay. <laughs> Can I take a peek inside this tent? Yeah. Uh, inside that tent, you see uh, uh, what looks like just a, just a regular old human man. He's got purple robes on, and he's, he's like, fastening uh, armor over it and strapping on a sword. Important looking. Uh, you see some bedrolls. That's nice. Um, mm. I'm tempted to check out this tent as well. Just kind of see what's going on in there. Which one? The the one on the other side. That tent looks scary, but also important. I agree. Uh, this tent is there only one entrance to this tent as well? Yeah, that one is the front one where that guy that guy's standing directly That's in front of it. That's what I figured. Um. Okay. Can I see anything in that tent from here? I uh, know the tent flaps are closed. Sorry, okay. Um, I don't know why my computer just freaked out. That was weird. I'm gonna like scurry around like this side if possible. Going a little bit. Trying not to make too much noise and stay. Yeah, so as you kind of come around a little bit, you are able to get a better look at uh, the sort of devil-like creatures, and this is what the ones that you can see look like. Lovely. How do I want to describe that? Ooh. I mean, depending on Bear's definition of sexy, you guys might be in the sexy part of hell already. Who knows? You know, very, very yeah, true. I mean, they're pretty ripped. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> into tentacles it's totally fine to admit that Adrian, Adrian it's totally fine you want me to roll another stealth check or no that, that will just stand uh you're oh, peeking inside okay. this tent yeah uh this one doesn't have anybody inside it just has like a couple bed rolls and like a, a wooden chest shit there's a chest uh What are these guys doing? They're they're kind of chatting as they're they're sharpening their weapons. Okay. Hey, Bob. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> ah, did you catch the game last night? <laughs> oh my god, it was awful. Did you see that display? Oh, oh my goodness. They scored the 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 baskets and the the goals. The the thing about Golden State is. They're always just trying to lay threes, you know what I mean? Oh. I hate I can see I'm smoking. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the threes. Yep, I saw it, the game too. 
Anyway, you ready to kill a bunch of people? Fuck yeah, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alan, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, can I, like, take a look around the tent in general? Yeah, you see the same thing you and, saw. And, like, in the, you... in the bed, like, the bed rolls and stuff, and, like, around the... Are they, like, spread out bed rolls, or... Uh, they're, they're spread out. They're, they're laid out. Okay. Take a look around those, see if there's anything of, um, seeming importance, if you will. Diaries, anything like that. Nope. Nope. Just the, okay. uh, laid out bed rolls the, in the nice wooden chest. nice wooden chest. That's oh so enticing. Can I check, mm, can I check for traps on the chest? Sure can. Trust the DM. What do you want me to roll? Wow. Uh, I'm kidding. Your, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Use your I'm kidding. thief tools. Oh right. <clears throat> what fuck am I doing? What did? Oh wait, was that? Was uh, no, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you see no discernible traps. Cool. Um, I will carefully open the chest. It gives a as you open the chest, gives a little bit of a creak. Uh, as you as you kind of lift the lid, on inside you see a single set of purple robes with the golden sigil on them. Mm. Yoink! Am I now? Anything that I have on, like on me or that I am wearing, is invisible, right? Mm -hmm. Would that count if I put those in my bag? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will it as quietly Yeah, it would as, be pretty funny. <laughs> as quietly as I can, I will do so. Okay, and as you're doing that, what's the what's the rest of the party doing? Probably been like a half an hour by now. I don't know. I didn't think the finale was that bad. <laughs> That's what Arita is talking about. I'm asleep. I fell asleep. <laughs> it's like the grass is real soft. It is nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I, I completely am just like passed out in the grass. It's been a long day. I don't ah. have any clue what they are trying to talk about. Oh shit, Tyler, are you uh, I think you're asleep. Are you asleep? Are we all asleep? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I am not asleep, no. I think, are we just chilling in the, in the grass? I'm sitting in the grass, taking some notes, looking around, making little sketches right. in in pages of my spe uh, spell book. Yeah. I kind of like, I kind of like, like start awake. Oh, lizard, lizard. <laughs> I'm sure oh, she's did fine. You... Did you wait a minute? Uh, uh, the spell book you're using. Tell me about it. Nayla. Um, my spell book. Well, my spell book. Let's see. Let's see. I bought it off uh, a druid ages ago. Um, the book itself has a purple cover, a purple and golden cover. The sheets are made from like uh, wood shavings of a tree, so it's like very thick, and you have to like carve the letters before like writing into it with like ink to make it more pretty uh but, but this is, this is where for everything every every single notes every little sketches i make on the road it's wait you too etch them into your book i'm sorry what was that you etch them into your book yeah that's pretty rad all right i write down everything i i come across in my book, I have to carve every single thing first, which is very time-consuming. <laughs> Coffee. Can... That way, that <laughs> way, um, if I drop it in a puddle of water, uh, the, even if the ink goes bye-bye, well, I, the carving is still there. Is there anything written on the front? Or the front's just a tree ink carving? It's just a, uh, it's like bark. With like a little, a little strap keeping it tight and tightly closed whenever I don't use it. How did you get this? I bought oh, it. I bought it off um, a druid. A druid. 
It came yes. with all the druid spells on it? No, no, they, it was a blank spellbook. It didn't become pre-installed? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I had, to in, I, I had to install my own spells and do it. Oh, that's no good. Very no, fun, confusing cool stuff. It's a good book, though. Mm, thank you, thank you. I do also have my um my own little hourglass that I use for spell casting purposes. Wait, you use an hourglass for spell casting? What's that do? Um, well, you know, some some wizard enjoy using wands and orbs or crystals, but I prefer to use a, an hourglass that was gifted to me. My uh, my adopted father. Your adopted father. Yeah, seeing seeing that I enjoy um, time related spells, it, it felt fitting. What do you enjoy about chronology? <laughs> that's that's the one. There's just something <laughs> secret. There's just something enjoyable watching someone that you may go you make them go back in time a little bit and they don't expect it at all <laughs> their faces their confusion it's very nauseating <laughs> so you, the natural order. you choose to control fate and time itself a little bit not quite a lot only by a few seconds to change fate <laughs> and um maybe maybe change the outcome of things do For the worse or better. What was that? Do you think you've earned that power? I worked hard for it, so I would think so, yes. Do you think you have the judgment for that power? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'll use it anyway. <laughs> there is virtue she in really self denial. I use it anyway. I love Nyla so much. Lack of ethics, I guess. <laughs> the amount of sass. <laughs> I'll use it for my own personal uh, gains. Well, for other as well, of course. Allies and such, or mess on mess up with other people, but never in a in a bad way. I would say I don't I don't I don't see the appeal in that. Every action we take is for our own self betterment in some way or another. I Every can see that. Yes. Out of survival. <laughs> I can agree with that, yeah. And yet you seem to think that controlling fate can alter these outcomes? For the better or worse sometimes, of course. Wouldn't it be arguable then that that has already been dictated <laughs> and predetermined? Sometimes I worry about that band of <laughs> it's hard to tell. Just it's hard to bit. tell. I'm no expert when it comes to these things, but if I can change it, even even ever so slightly, I'll, I'll do what I can. <laughs> um, <laughs> Arate, Arate looks like pensively into the horizon. It's like, I've lived thousands of lifetimes, Nela, and the only thing I know is that the flow of time is always cool. I'll be writing that down for sure, however. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take but this as a lesson. Tear goes down the cheek. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of like, I kind of like, I've been listening in. I mean, it, it's not, it's not like it's that bad. I mean, it's mainly just like, uh, it, it's mainly just like, Six seconds. <laughs> it is only like a very it's, small. It's an action that uh, they take that I can just. It's it only maybe. I mean, I think. I guess. Yes. I guess if it was something. About I that? guess if it was something more drastic, we would never know. But. Hmm. I mean, at least, oh. at least when she uses it on us, we know it makes me throw up every time. <laughs> But it's, it still can change the fate of someone who could have died into someone that uh, simply lives from it instead. Maybe a killing blow is turning into something uh, such as a mist, perhaps. 
or someone uh, falling off a cliff, I can give them a second chance at trying their best as, uh, at, and then jumping it. Well, Nyla, I'm no, I am I'm no omnipotent being that can see the future and, and what it holds and how you change it, but any, uh, any, any future where I'm alive and all of you are alive, I think is, is the right future. So I stand by what you do. That's very So you guys are having this chat. Well, what's, what's <laughs> Alarn up to? You've got these purple robes now in your backpack. Um, nothing else looks interesting. I mean, I could, you know, rummage around, but... Maybe a little bit. Lift up like a bed cover or two, or a bed roll or two ever so slightly. Yeah, there's, there's nothing below, just there's the soft nothing. grass. Nah, that's unfortunate. Um, how long would it take to, to scurry out and go back over to them? Uh, probably not like super long. Um, how long do I have? Mm, I don't know. I can't remember how long does invis invisibility last? Like an hour? An hour? Probably like yeah. halfway over. Okay. Um. The I'm assuming these are closed. Yep. Or these are the backs of them. That's the fronts. Okay. That's where they're open. Uh, or that's where they would open into, but they have like a flaps in front of them, so you can't see inside. Yeah, lame. Okay. Um, I don't really. Alarion doesn't really want to risk uh, causing attention due to flaps and such. As invisible as she may be. Uh, what if you did, like, a performance roll, and as you moved through the flap, you made your mouth sound like there was a gust of wind? Whoosh! <laughs> Just a random <laughs> gust. <laughs> My poor performance. <laughs> the performance is not one of Alaric's strong suits. <laughs> I could, that would be funny. But, uh, as this is still an unfamiliar place, um, She's not entirely comfortable being here yet. Although the uh, encouragement is appreciated. You know. Yeah, but I always got your back. I'm just like yeah. chilling on your shoulder. I, you said uh, you wanted it. You, what are you thinking? Uh. Uh. Oh, uh. Uh. They're guarding, like, every entrance. <laughs> yeah! They're good at what they do, huh? I... Yeah, they are. Let me scooch the map over Maybe, um... Tents behind these is ones. there anywhere you could, like, sneak around a tent or anything like that? Uh, they've been at every entrance so far. Yeah, but, like, mo all multiple entrances? Like, is there any... Like, if you scouted out, is there any way you could, like, sneak into the tent that's not through the flaps? Like, the front flaps, you know what I mean? Hmm. Um. You also, like, I don't know if you're much of a pickpocket not to encourage bad behavior. Oh, the oh, other sorry. shoulder, a red version of me with horns appears and goes, yeah. <laughs> what about pickpocketing? Huh? And then the golden oh, one's like, no, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, it has been a while, hasn't it? Hmm. What if you uh, stole some stuff? There might be shinies around here. I, I may or may not have picked up something already. Ooh, what'd you get, kid? No, don't um... listen to him! <laughs> <laughs> you'll find out, you'll find out. Alright, but I see some pretty good shinies around here. Sound like my sword. Yeah, about that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's been you all along. No. Um, 
nothing, nothing. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, well, there's two guarding that one right in front of me, and there's one guarding the other one. That those two would look like they're trying. I'm not sure what is what does this one look like they're doing. Speed. He just kind of seems to be looking around, keeping on keeping an eye out. Are they he's got... still? Um... Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. He he's got all his armor and sword strapped on. Just kind of looks like he's keeping a lookout. It... I'll like speak quietly again to him. Um, they've all got like armor and shields on them and sharpening their weapons and everything and they look good they look good they look pretty ready for something yeah they, um, they look like they're getting ready to mobilize me yeah like maybe kinda. towards the fort ahead of us the city maybe we should yeah. want the guys yeah, yeah, yeah maybe we should, maybe we should want the guys or counter offer maybe we could stick around and get our fingers sticky you know what i'm saying or while they're gone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wait, what are you guys talking about in there? You're smart. You're smart, Alaire, and that's why I stick with you. Let's do that. <laughs> um, I should probably let everybody know that I'm fine, though. Um, and at least tell them what I see, unless you can somehow. No, I'm a figment of your imagination. No, tell the goddamn the console. Yeah, lovely. Uh, yeah, I should probably tell them at least, and then you know, talk to them and see how they feel about that. Although Sounds I don't good. really like the idea of splitting off, even though you know I'm here now, alone, all by myself. You know. <laughs> John, what's that noise from that tent over there? Yeah. I can hear it. <laughs> Beach. <laughs> just gonna get, oh shit and like scurry back here <laughs> enough of that tent that was beautiful <laughs> so around the tent. so what's your plan are you heading back are you sticking around I uh, it, uh, mm. I'm gonna yeah I think he did. Yeah, I'm still gonna. Oh, they moved. Oh no. I yeah, mean, you know, oh. you've been here for like 40 minutes at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scurry, scurry back. Eight. Away, away. You see, like one of these guys kind of go inside this tent. I'll scurry back towards the group. And you hear him like yelling, like, Where are my robes? I need my robes for the thing. Come on, guys. Oh my, oh my god. god. I'm out of here. It's again. I took his clothes. Uh, Alright, so you guys, uh, you guys see. Nope. By the time you get back to the party, uh, your vis invisibility wears off. It's like 10 feet away, just pops up. Oh. Oh. Lizard's back. Lizard's I back. am. I stole somebody's clothes. Why would you even do that? Uh, it, it's funny, and I couldn't find anything else. Um, it's fucked up. But I did get a better look at the camp, and they're um, definitely sharpening and brandishing their weapons. Did you get it? I'm just going to be straight up and honest. Are? Um, quite a few, um, more than, like, brain, six, like, it's between, like, ten and fifteen from what I could see. Like, taking off your shoes to count with your toes, too, right now? Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Four or five, say. She's trying to remember who she saw where. <laughs> um. So there were. What, what were they doing? What were they? What? What were they doing? Doing, yeah. Um. They were definitely like getting their armor polished and sharpening their swords and such. Um. Seemed to oh, be getting ready to. Uh. Yeah. That's why I'm back. Um. As much as you know, 
sticking around they while they were good. gone sounded like They're... a great idea. Why? Why? Uh, go into the rest of their tents. Yes, but we can merely do that after we defeat them at the city. Good point. Good point. I guess. If you're coming back to tell us, we should make haste to our little fort area and uh, yeah, kind of. I'll, I'll pull out like part of the robes, but I did steal their clothes. I did. All of them? Uh, just one of them in it. It was in a chest. The chest seemed, you know, like it. I don't know. It. 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 It was in you know a closed chest, and I had to see what was in it. No, that's very effective strategy. No, Everyone, let's never... remember to mock the naked person when they arrive. It really lowers morale. Yes. When the battle begins, keep an eye out for the naked one. He will be keep an eye out for the naked one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wave as close. Please bomb. Let's go. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wave as close around a little bit. <laughs> I wish you had these. Uh... Yeah, pretty much. Um, Dungeon master. There when, was what? one large tent. Um, and there were you. Know, uh, so there, there seems to be like one guy with quite a nice set of armor, very shiny. Um. With two other people guarding him, in particular. Um, and then there are a lot of humans, but also these devilish creatures. Like humanoid devilish creatures with purplish red skin and tails and claws and like tentacle beards. You recognize yeah. those from this? Yeah. We call them big nasty. <laughs> Jesus. What do we they call were, them? They were very, they were very buff. <laughs> they uh, had very, very much muscle. I think, like, as a denizen of, of the underworld, I think you know that they're bearded devils. Oh, we just call them devils? Okay. They're handsome devils. <laughs> um, uh, I forgot to warn you all when we... I'm so sorry, I should have said this at the beginning. In case anybody was wondering, this is the sexy part of hell. <laughs> Um, and so these are the handsome devils. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems that they don't let join on the side of them. Let's go back and let's go warn the city of heroes. You'll love it there. Yeah, I suppose we should. Yeah, we probably. I mean, should. even with a um, sense for their were, numbers, we still don't were, know exactly what they're capable of. Yeah, they were definitely uh, get a ready for. For something. Yeah. Um, got... There were about seven tents. Um, most of them had, um, most of them were closed, so I couldn't see inside. And all of, all but two, uh, were guarded, so made it difficult. No, this is wonderful information Alan and thank you so much for doing this your phone is for it thank you're well uh you're welcome uh can I um uh cast minor illusion and make it look like I'm holding out like a nice pretty gun yes oh yeah but as soon as they you know try to take a bite <laughs> the face is just gonna go through it I'll get I'll get you a real one when we get to the city. You're, you're gonna love it there. There's a salt and straw. Oh, oh Great. okay. That was mean. I wanted ice cream. Well, it was like a. Well, we'll get one. Oh, okay. Lauren is now sad. We didn't get ice cream. <laughs> Just sad, defeated lizard. <laughs> Skulking, still invisible. Yes. Uh, I'm like you, where to point it? Who'd we lose? Hannah. Lizard's gone. They turned like, invisible. No ice cream. No ice cream, no playing. <laughs> Bailed. What the? Back. So rude. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
We thought you were turning invisible. <laughs> I thought you DC. <laughs> I, I can't tell if you're. I don't know what happened. Neither don't do worry we. About it. Don't the worry about it. Uh huh. I don't believe yeah. a single one of you. Oh, that's fucked up. Uh, you. <laughs> what did you what did you do hannah is the real question i went to copy a picture of a Laird from your dms <laughs> that's all i did <laughs> i don't even i don't even have discord like open i have so many other things in front of me i, just, mm, I don't have discord okay. like open it's minimized okay. that way okay why would i actively sabotage the session like that uh all right so what are you guys what are you guys doing you guys are headed to the city of heroes yes okay. nice. uh all right so you guys head that way uh, as you approach there's there's kind of like large gates um <clears throat> there's a few sort of like ethereal uh beings kind of like on the parapets up top um they're not f like full ghosts but they're not like full there either um uh, and they will see arte and they'll, they'll call down like oh you're back open the gates and the you see the gates start to slowly open for you guys all right let's let's head inside and i i do a little the hades salute to the soldiers as i go by they will uh they'll salute back hell yeah so what does the Hades salute look like? It's, um, you put your hand in the devil sign, and then you put it up to your head like bullhorns. Oh, yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do it, too, to try and uh, blend in. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, like, in the marine, like, how the marines have, like, hoorah, uh, the soldiers of Hades, they say ride on. Ride on or right ride on? Ride on or hell yeah. Either or. <laughs> As they see you go through, they go, hell yeah. <laughs> As the, they start to close the gates behind you. Uh, you guys uh, so one of the one of the soldiers will run up to you, Arte, and be like, Ar Arte, do you, do you have word from outside the gates? Uh, well, actually, I have visitors from beyond the gates, and I gesture to the adventuring party. Uh um... Why don't you all introduce yourselves, I guess. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, Ibrahim. <laughs> uh, the, the soldier will, like, shake your hand. It's like, it's, it's, it's nice to meet you. Are, are, how did you, how did you get here? I, I, you know what? I, I don't even... How big is he? Is he big or is he normal? He's, <laughs> he, he's like, normal human-sized. Okay, I use baby strength. For my handshake. Okay. Yeah. Just to make sure. Uh, Wouldn't want to hurt him. A game that you guys have developed. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's just very concerned about it. He's okay. Just, he's such a big man. Okay. Um. It's just roll like... handshake check. What's up? Roll handshake check. Yeah, handshake check to make sure you don't crush somebody's I actually... hand. I actually. Well. Wait, 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 wait. I had a uh, a DM that would have us roll a strength check at any time we wanted to do a high five. And oh both parties goodness. had to roll a strength check. Ugh. It's too much work. <laughs> um, and, uh, it's just like, are you guys, are you, are you here to, to help? How did you even get down here? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> first, we, uh, we had some stones and the stones opened a door and we went through that door and then there was a puzzle but it was pretty easy and then we did that <laughs> and then there was a trial of by combat but then we did that too that wasn't too bad and then we went through a portal another portal and then this nice man was here and now he's now he brought us here i look at my shoulder friend and i just like pat him on the shoulder and i go Trust me, they're gonna be good at this. I know it doesn't seem like it, but he's, this will be good. Are, are, he's gonna kind of pull you aside. He's like, they look, they look kind of fucked up. I know they said it was easy, yeah. but <laughs> that that, I mean, that rabbit looks hurt. 
No, man. They're I'm covered kinda in blood. Like, I kind of like look down at Nyla and I forget that she's like all filthy and yeah, because they're like bloody. bloody. <laughs> the lion man's covered in like soot, <laughs> fireball. <laughs> what do you expect? Oh, right. Soldiers, they've been living this life of valor and virtue that you only pretend to live huddled up in your fort. I. If you want to support our cause, then you're going to help them get cleaned up and ready for battle, uh, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yes, yes, Arte, yes. I turn to the group and I'm like, forgive the unfortunate attitude and xenophobia, seemingly, of my soldiers. It is unfamiliar to me. No, it's perfectly, perfectly understandable to be wary of strangers, of course, especially since we're not even from here at all. I understand. I mean, technically, we're all from here. Well, I'm sure you, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I look to the horizon again, and another <laughs> tear comes from. My face. Are we? Are we inside the walls yet? Are you guys are. You guys are inside the walls of the city. Uh, it's like large, sort of like stone buildings that are, they're like these beautiful, shimmering, like white stone buildings. Um, everything's kind of like open air. Uh, there's. Yeah, it's 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 lit. All right, we are, but yes, we are here to help. Now we need we need we are are new to this realm. We we need information. We need to get a, an idea of exactly what we're up against, and how many here in the city are able to almost uh, fight. <laughs> almost everybody here is. Uh, some sort of hero in, in some shape or form. We, we've all taken up arms. We've been able to repel the attackers so far, but uh, they just, more and more of them show up. So you have not been able to, to successfully drive them back only to defend the city? That's correct. The main issue we have here is that our line of communication has been cut off with the other forts since Hades has left the throne. We don't have any way to signal with our other comrades. Well, uh, long-distance communication magic may be unfamiliar to you. It is quite normal here in Hades under the right circumstances. We are having trouble con escaping and breaking the line because we don't have any communication lines. And that's what I'm hoping we can do. Unite the forts again and head straight to the throne of Hades and the house of Hades and take it. How many other of these forts are there? Uh, so, Arte, you would know there's like two sort of like really fortified forts in the Fields of Mourning and the Fields of Punishment, since those are more like intense sections of hell. Um, and then yeah. there's like smaller cities. Uh, there's two smaller cities, kind of just where like the denizens live, like not necessarily the, the lost wandering souls in the Asphodel Fields, but like um, like your brethren essentially, um, or people that work in the underworld um, would live in these cities. Um, they're not really meant to be defended. Um, but, uh, but there's, there, yeah, there's two other cities. Right, they're kind of, like, kind of be, like, safe havens for us. It's not that they need to be defended, but it would get trade routes going and all that. Um, we could try and take them all, or we could simply, you know, follow either the western or eastern fields of Asphodel and try to just attack the House of Hades directly, but that's a conversation for another one. On the immediate, uh, I turn to my soldier and I'm like, we need to brace for attack. Get everybody ready for the next few days for a siege. Uh, he's going to salute you with the, uh, the the Hades salute with the, 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 the <laughs> horns. Uh, I was trying to yeah. do it at the same time. I was using push to talk, so I was like, oh, you guys can't hear me. <laughs> uh, and he's going to run off and he's going to like sound a, a, a large horn. And you see there's like a lot of commotion up on like the, uh, the ramparts of people kind of... Uh, coming up top to keep uh, more, more lookouts, essentially. Sure. How All frequently right. have the attacks been? Well, first, let's head to uh, the soaking tub to further discuss this. It's also where our main uh, war room is. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> we head into a sauna. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. 
Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice and warm. There's there's somebody there to 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 like you know keep the steam up and going with the hot rocks and the in the water and such. Um, something this I, land is very this land is very strange to me. I say I say this to Varian. Oh no, there's a geothermal fissure below us. It's perfectly natural. Um, it's actually really nice mineral water too. Um, I've been this is out of character. I've been playing D and D with Steve Jobot a long time, and I think what sets him aside uh, from other DMs for me and why I love his game so much is because you get to be like, what can I get away with? Oh, we know. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> That's why we love this him, is, too. This is my first full campaign. He's the best. So, yeah, it's great. We, we have a sauna now, guys. Enjoy. Yeah, why wouldn't you have one of the city heroes? That makes sense to me. It checks out. I mean, it's a museum. I mean, it's a museum. It, is, it, is, it, is, it is something that heroes would do, certainly. We haven't even been to the Vomitorium yet. You'll love that place. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The what? <laughs> you heard it, Steve. <laughs> what, an ancient Greek, Athenian uh -huh. plastic room? Uh -huh. Come on, Steve. You, you built this homebrew off of Greek mythology. You should know what a vomitorium is. <laughs> it's not what it sounds like. It's, it's not sense. what it sounds like. All right, I just Googled it. I was really hesitant, but it's fine. It's not what it sounds like. No. That's oh, what it's not? Oh, no. You're thinking. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, but yeah, okay, so you guys are in this in the sauna. Uh, you know, take it in the steam. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very, like... Do we, are the, do we like... Undress? Is this what this is it like I mean you can do whatever's comfortable. I've got like a really cool, like ethereal um one piece bathing suit that the center of it is like the Milky Way, like spiraling around. He's ready. They're yes. ready. They're ready to go. Um you can this for your eyes. Let's get in here. Come on, let's relax. It's been a long journey. But I thought you just called your soldiers to prepare for Imminent combat. And they'll be fine. And I just like lounge into the water and just like oh fully. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, what if they need us? That's why you we're here. 20 minutes to dot. Well, they'll be fine. Well, I mean, you know, we'll be good. Come on, take a seat. Okay. And I point to the corner and there's like a little ice cream. <laughs> ice so, cream. So I will. So is it is it like a like a hot tub or is it like a steam sauna? It's like a sauna, like, like combo kind of thing. There's like Not water really though hot. that we're in. Yeah, I mean we can be. I'm in the water. I'm chilling. So I'll take, <laughs> I'll take my boots off and put my feet in, but I'll still be like fully clothed <laughs> in my armor. <laughs> And like my pants, roll your pants and, and my chain mail and my helmet and my shield and my mace in hand ready to go. <laughs> but I'll, I'll dip my feet in, in the hot tub. You're like wielding them all still, but yeah. you're... <laughs> so I'm ready. But I'll I'll dip my feet in. Yeah, I was thinking of doing the exact same. I'll just take a seat and have the feet dip. All right. Well, Spectre, as you all have probably you? noticed, this is also our war room. And like all the walls in here have like strategic battle plans and stuff drawn out. Um, <laughs> so if there's anything you'd like to know about our operations, feel free. They're very damp maps. <laughs> Some of the ink is like running down a little bit. So it's like one of those like little floating tables that you put like cocktails and beers on, but it's covered in like battle plans. Yeah, yeah. One of the one of the one of the soldiers will come in and kind of like push that across the water towards Arate. Ar Ar it's like a little cup in there with like a you know like one of those like swirly straws. Yes. Oh. Yes. Does it change color? Yes. Yes. <laughs> sure. Um, and he'll he'll offer the same drinks to you guys as well. These are non-alcoholic. They just blow your mind. Don't worry. Do you have alcohol? Because that would be. Amazing right now. We left all our alcohol in our in our party wagon. 
Yeah, we've, we've really it's, been, it's been about uh, eight hours since we've had drink. <laughs> we're really, I I could really go for something right now. And at least that's totally valid. You could order whatever you want; they'll hand it to you, or at least straw or not. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look around and I'll and there'll there'll be like a, uh, like a soldier standing there, just like a a thong, but he mm -hmm. still has like his, mm -hmm. he still yeah. has his sword and shield ready. Mm -hmm. I'm be, uh, uh, and I'm gonna like uh, gesture him up. I'm like, three, like it's uh, 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 what, what do you what, what can I get for you? Uh, Ale, if you have it, please. Ale? Uh, okay. And he's gonna run off, and he'll, he'll come back with, like, a cup. He's gonna hand it to you. He's gonna kind of, like, look at you questioningly and hold up the swirly straw and see if you want to take that also. I, I kind of just, like, wave him off. I'm like, no, that, thank you. Oh. Thank you, that's okay. Oh, I didn't... It's, I it's okay. I don't make I'll these take... or any, anything. And he's gonna, like, walk I'll, I'll away. I'll take the swirly... Wait, I'll take the swirly straw? It's too, it's too late. Please, <laughs> you asked him, Literally. not me. Alaren's <laughs> <Like, laughs> gonna, Alaren's Aler gonna beg. Please, please, I'm not the swirly straw. That's cool. Please, please. please. Yeah, well, thank you for the follow, Specter. Uh, he'll no. hand you the swirly straw. Yes. I have a swirly straw. <laughs> I'm putting this in my inventory. I hope you know that. <laughs> Oh, weird. It adds plus 18 to all charisma. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you. <laughs> you're getting a little carried away here. All right, so you guys are in this sauna, right? Uh, you've got the floating <laughs> table with the maps on it. There's other maps on the wall. Because if you guys have been given drinks. Is this, is this your war room? Is this where... Yeah, this is where the uh, magic... That's where Look, the magic happens. The thing about Hades. Is magic happens. You have to. It's okay. I said it to be funny. You can. <laughs> um, <laughs> manage all the luxuries that there are because the rest of hell <coughs> is as it sounds. You know? So, what's special about the Elysian Fields? This is where heroes and. Heroes to humanity come to rest. They're set above everyone else. And I take it it's not a place that ever expected to be beset by invaders. Well, expected maybe not, but highly anticipated. You see, a lot of the virtue and valor that's popular in this current time, material plane, is of sword and sorcery so while it wasn't expected that this land of luxury would be attacked everyone here has been kind of itching for a fight that's understandable which is why i think we've stayed stabilized versus the other presumably realms of hades so who is it that populates the other realms just Souls. Well, it depends on where they deemed uh, or are judged to go. Uh, I am one of the many adjudicators, or justicars, rather. I'm also a teacher. I have an intro to Hades class. Well, Fira. You guys might want to take. I'm a justicar that dictates where these souls go. Some go to the fields of punishment and fields of mourning for obvious reasons. Well, listen, are, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Aren't they? The spa is wonderful, but I think what we could really use is, is rest. Yes, I do agree. Uh, a place to sleep, a place to recover a little bit would be pretty delightful. Yeah, there's, uh, there's great beds available down the street. Um, also kind of rude to get on my case for not taking this seriously when you're all about to crash. Just gonna say. I'm just coming out to say it. You're all about to go to sleep. You were giving me shit for not defending the town. I'm just saying. 
Well, if we have time, if we have time, if we have time, right? It's probably fine. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm like you. That's my point. All right, I'm gonna keep chilling. Are you guys cool if I put some music on? It's down the street. Do we just? Is there like yeah, a, you... a sign? Uh, uh, yeah. One of the one of the soldiers will come up and be like, I I I can take you there. Thanks. What's your name? Oh, they <laughs> me? Ah, they call yeah. me they call me old Tommy Two X. I hate it already. Oh, what? I'm sorry, didn't name you that way. I what? <laughs> I I'm I'm known for because I use these two axes. You see, is it one of those kind of like self-proclaimed nicknames? Oh uh, no, it it's the name that I got. It's my hero name, Tommy Two X. I've never heard of you. Ah, uh, I wish I have. It, he... I am curious though. Do tell us of your story. Oh. Maybe I, you could tell us of your story as we, you know. I adventured across the lands and 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 slew monsters, you know, with with my two axes. Uh, Steve, I'm gonna make a history check. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Twenty one. Twenty. You have heard tales of Tommy Two X. He's he's like a really old hero, but but you would you know like a maybe like an old tale that maybe your dad had heard as a kid that he had retold to you. About how Tommy Two X uh, once slayed a two-headed dragon. Wow, you're the Tommy Two X. He kind of like he puffs out his chest the a little one... bit, and he's like, "That's right, you're the one who slayed the two-headed dragon." Oh, so ah, uh, so, yep, that's me, old Tommy Two X. Nyla, <laughs> no, I'm gonna like nudge Nyla because Nyla, no, do you have a quill? Do you have an ink and quill? Yes, hurry, hurry. No, hurry, please. I see what's happening. I'll give him. I'll give him my quill, ink, and like parchment. <laughs> Listen, Tommy. If it's not too much trouble, I'd, I'd love an autograph. Oh, it's not too much trouble at all for one of my fans, and he'll. he'll uh, it's like, what? Who, uh, what's your name? So I can I can sign it with your name on it. Uh, my name is Ebrin. Uh, to my biggest fan, Ebrin, signed Tommy Two X. Just for oh you. And he drew like oh a little god, symbol god, oh god, oh god, like oh of two axes underneath his name. God, that's the thing. <laughs> I want to cast Catapult. <laughs> a piece of paper toward the Sona. No! <laughs> the panic, he's gonna dive for it. Like, just no! jump in. Just hold it above the water. <laughs> what, what are we... What's happening? Look, you're casting Catapult? <laughs> That's a catapult on the piece of paper toward the sauna. Uh, can you can you pop catapult in chat for me? <laughs> Don't you have mage hands? Yeah, but that's more funny. <laughs> it's being carried right now. No. <laughs> uh, no, it's mine. Uh, I, I, I hurriedly like stuff it into like an inner pocket. And give and give give none of the back her. Uh... Well, thank you so thank you Nyla. I appreciate this <laughs> and uh thank you very welcome he's like all right once um, you all come follow tommy 2x i'll take you somewhere you can get some rest i better add that to my list of treasures Treasures. <laughs> 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 oh man all right yeah so he'll he'll kind of lead you down the streets to sort of this like um large stone building he's like ah there's We've kind of turned this building into a, a, a barracks. There's there's plenty of beds inside. Just take your pick. Thank you. Uh, he's just like Tommy Two Wax out, and he's gonna like do the uh, <laughs> Haiti salute and just kind of like walk back towards uh, where ours oh, was. Yeah, that hmm. Strange man. No, Did he have like two legendary with him? hero? Oh yeah, he had two axes on his like on it, like oh. one on each hip. Damn. Surprise! Well, you're not from you're not from my realm, but you know. exactly, I'm not from around. I never heard of him. I'm sure. I'm sure if you had, if you were, you would have heard of him. I have heard of him. You haven't heard of him either. No. Oh, I heard <laughs> such stories of him growing up. I have but, no idea who he is. Well, 
Okay. Well, let's get some sleep. <laughs> well, you know, you you know. Yeah. You seem to know quite a bit about history, so I'm not surprised. Sleep, sleep sounds good, though. So it's, is this like an inn in the city? Not really. It's just like a modified building with some, so with some like cots in it. Okay. So I'll just pick one. Just pick one. Yep. Yeah. Same. I have to endure not having my own room. My goodness. <laughs> you do have your own bed. I hope I would. So what's everybody uh, doing for the night? Are you guys all headed to sleep? Yeah, I'm, I'm going straight to sleep. It's been a long one. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted after being fucking stabbed by a lion. <laughs> oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys never rested after the the, yeah. the dungeon. Yeah, let's go a bunch of like dirt and blood. In oh yeah, and, like hell, fucking do it again. <laughs> Man, it's all scorched and yeah, <laughs> scorched and singed and smells like a fire pit. That's why that guy at the gates was like these guys. I know. Okay, listen. Listen, I feel fine. All right? oh, that's I true. feel. That's true. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. I've got like. A cut. <laughs> Yo, when Barry and I were fighting, though, that was like a kaiju battle. <laughs> that was pretty great. Pretty good. Uh, so you guys are all headed to sleep, or is, or is anybody doing anything before they go to sleep? No, uh, no I'm good. Sleeping. Okay. Uh, uh... Just kind of tend to uh, miss cutter a little bit. To the what? Make it miss cutter the uh, the um, the cutlass. Ah, the cutlass. You you pull it out. I do. Okay, it's gonna talk to you. I don't remember what oh, its voice sounded like at all. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it's just like <laughs> ah. It's about time, Mallard. Are you? Am I, are we? Are we gonna see some action? I I think we are. I feel like we haven't. Taking any shinies from anybody in a while. I, I thirst. I, I know. I know. I do too. I have a swirly straw. Ah. Uh, oh. That's pretty cool. I. That's not quite. What about the gold? It's not, the jewels. I, I know. I know. Where are they? I'll get some. Soon. We, we, we must. We must get some soon. Okay. And the the swords kind of go gonna go quiet. Uh, okay. What's what's Arte up to? Is these is these guys hunker down? Um, I think that I am in full chill mode. It has been a long time coming, and I'm I'm finally seeing like my plan uh, fall into pieces, and I'm feeling really like. I'm letting all that stress off my chest. So I'm like cucumbers on the eyes and this is how I transfer. <laughs> Don't chill. All the whole time. There's um, Doobie Brothers on in the background. I've got sangria <laughs> in my left hand at all times. Um, and I'm trancing. And then after that, I immediately like suit up, get ready in my gear and head straight towards uh, the command area at the top of the gate. And just watch the direction of the camp. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, so the party gets a full long rest. Everything's uh, restored. Um, and I think this is a good spot to end. Thank you so much for watching. And again, we are playing this live on Twitch. So if you ever want to see any of this unfold as it happens, uh, come drop by the stream. Also, all of our players are fellow streamers. And if you like what you heard, please go check them out. They are all absolutely fantastic folks. I'll have links to their Twitch pages down in the description below as well. Uh, thanks again. I hope to catch you all next time. Have a good one.